Hey, hi, Ambo. Morning. Hi. How are you? Happy hi. New Year. First of all. Morning. Yes. Um, my question is basic. This one. So, as we moving forward, um, we are moving into BTP, VAP app, app or CAP app, app, and I heard that most of our GIS is going to be deprecated and uh, major applications which built on SAP side, which is going to be an RAPM model or a CAPM model. Where does our uh, fury stands over here? How good it is to, oh, I mean, a bit of confusion, you know, whether to go with RAPM or the CAPM because we have a, a SAP build, SAP came up with build work zone and now, but we still want to go with Fury UI. This is a freestyle thing. We have more advantages over those things. I want to address this in a single point. So, how do we see this as in a future? Perfect. Thank you. So, let me explain that. So, basically, whenever you as a developer want to develop any application, there are always two parts. The first part is called backend, and the second part is called frontend. Yeah, frontend and backend. The frontend is your UI your screens your application screen front end application the screen part the back end part is your logic and database yes now what sap did is they have come up with couple of technologies the first way if you talk about back end part they have two technologies two predominantly used technologies so called wrap and cap wrap and cap or wrap them or cap them restful application programming model and cloud application programming model the restful application or wrap programming model is basically a abap based programming model so if you are an abap developer and if you want to build business logic and database database tables and stuff like that then you use wrap framework now this is available both for on premise which means if your company is using s4 hana or if your company going for pure cloud yes your BTP based development then you can use this framework now this is for ABAP developers but what about if your company don't have ABAP developers yet they want to build cloud applications so for that SAP come up with CAPM cloud application programming model there you can use node.js or Java programming language to build your backend and database table so this is about the backend development but when it comes to front-end development the fury stands there yes the knowledge which you gain in this training is going to focus on front end development with fury that's what will be goal of the current training will be but if you willing to learn everything then you should go with wrap and cap training also i also offer that training as a separate module on anubotrainings.com i have everything with me so if you want to become a a back end plus front end developer that's called a full stack developer what is a full stack developer? A full stack developer is the one which can do both front end and back end development. Like in understand in a simple way, this is like batting. And this is like bowling. So if you know both batting and bowling, what you become? You become an all rounder. And whenever you go for IPL, whenever you go for cricket tournament, your salary will be more if you are an all rounder player. You get more money as simple as that right so a full stack developer salary is three times the salary of a normal front end or normal back end developer so i do have these separate separate modules and training which i will be making you comfortable over the time when to take which module throughout our journey but right now the first step towards this all this new stuff which is happening around you in your company or around you in sap tech you should go with the current training which we are starting today the ui5 training that's a first step and this is where again we have two development options one is called freestyle fury app development option yes which is i would say today 50 to 60 percent apps are built using this approach and then we have fury elements then here again 42 50% apps are built using this especially when you use wrapm and capm so when you take wrapm and capm course this will be covered there but in our current training this will be our focus so if i quickly highlight our focus of this training will be this part this will be the 100% of our course for the other part i have other courses this part is covered in a course called fury advanced training 
then this is covered in my ABAP on cloud training or RAP training. This is covered on my BTP CAP training. We are also starting a live batch on BTP CAP from 8th of February. You can join that if you are interested along with the current training. This will be over the weekend. Weekdays we will be doing this. So this is how overall development, different kinds and types of development is happening around you in the technological world. These are technological advancements have happened over the last one decade. Then this is for a true developer, somebody who is truly, truly a developer who has coding in their blood. But what about person or people who don't know coding? Still they want to become a developer. Those are called citizen developers. Citizen is like a normal citizen of any country. When you go on the roadside or when you go to any public places, parks, hospitals, yeah, stations, you see these normal people yes, who have zero clue about development. Yeah, they are called citizen developers. People who don't know coding, for them, we also want to allow them to contribute like for simple applications if they want to build. So for citizen developers, SAP come up with another option called SAP Build. SAP Build have three major components. SAP Build Apps, SAP Build Process Automation and SAP Build Work Zone. Yeah, These are the three verticals of SAP Build. It's mainly for people who are not true developers like you and me. We are the developers, we are the people who are known for building complex application with coding. We are good in coding. But people who are not good in coding, still for them the SAP have something in their bucket. And that's SAP build. Which is, in my opinion, is not good for you and me. Because we are born developers. We love coding. We can do coding. We can really give a shape to a very complex applications. But these citizen developers can't do that. Yeah, these citizen developers can't do that. So that's why exactly we need this, uh, uh, you know, we need the build for them. Now, in the near future, I'm planning to start this training, SAP Build Process Automation. This is something you can join. Maybe in the near future or down the line, mid of the year, I will also start build apps and build, uh, build apps. Yeah. So right now, the focus will be this part, what I've highlighted for this training. And it will be a true coding uh, course. It is not going to be a non-coding course, yeah. Like you heard about low code, no code. Low code, no code is this build apps there, yeah. Low code, no code. That's for citizen developers, people who don't know coding, people who are citizens of any country who want to still build simple applications. It's for them, not for developers. I hope I clarified everything here with respect to what's going on around us when it comes to this. And then again comes is the platform. And that's where the BTP comes. BTP is the platform on which you do all this development. Yeah. So that's your platform. That's your, you know, platform as a service where you do all sort of these developments on the BTP platform. Yes. Okay. Still, you need some kind of a backend data. Yes. Because mm -hmm. without a real data, without a real, you know, backend data, it doesn't make sense. So what will happen is we still have some kind of a backend development. It's called Freestyle Open Data Protocol or OData Development, which is going to use your existing ERP data from your tables like EKKO, EKPO, mm -hmm. Mara. Yeah, we will extract mm -hmm. this data and expose services. Mm -hmm. And these services is what we will use in our application to consume our data. So this is also part of the current training. We will cover that. Okay, okay. Using pure ABAP, using core ABAP. This will use core ABAP. Uh, that's called as Fury Advance or uh, that no, is no, like no. ODA? Same service. training. Fury Advance mm -hmm. is basically another training. These are my training module names which I offer mm -hmm. on our website. So the mm -hmm. freestyle ODATA development is your core ABAP training. Uh, it's, it's, it's basically your core ABAP programming we will be using to build a ODATA. So okay. if I just go back to Anubhav training website, you can correspondingly check uh, all the different modules we offer. So go to anubhavtrainings.com mm -hmm. and there we see this uh, Anubhav next batches tab. And there you can mm -hmm. see we have the current module which is SAP UFF theory. 
Then we have RAP, SAP BTP, RESTful Application Programming or ABAP on Cloud Training, RAP Training. Then similarly, we have the ABAP on HANA Training. ABAP on HANA Training is prerequisite for RAP Training because if you don't know CDS views and you're directly mm -hmm. learning RAP, it becomes difficult becomes very, very difficult. So you okay. must complete a BAPANANA training before you learn the RAP training. If you don't know CDS views, if you know CDS views, CDS entities, AMDP, everything already, directly jump to the RAP mm -hmm. training. Then okay. we have analytics cloud training, a separate module. We have Fury advanced training, where you, if you specifically want to learn Fury elements, yeah, we have integration suite training, and this is the CAP training, SAP BTP application developer training, with cloud application programming model. Then we have BTP workflow also. We have a hybrid Fury app development. Somebody wants to uh, build a mobile application where, which runs offline in your in your mobile device. Yeah. So whenever the user is offline, it writes the data to a local store. When user come online, this Fury app writes the data to the to the backend. Yeah. So that's called hybrid Fury app development. So if you build a Fury app, how do you take that Fury app into mobile as an installable Fury app like APK, APK file which you download from Android store, right? So how do you make it as an APK? So that is covered in this training. It's a bit more advanced training. So depending on how deep you want to go, we do have different, different modules and I will be timely guiding you to the respective modules whenever you are, you are needing them. Yeah. So you can always go back and check when is the next live batch, batch date. We are also starting a BAP on HANA training on this coming weekend, 7 to 9 p.m. India time. Yeah, So that's upcoming batch, you can see. We are also planning that. So it's an evening batch uh, for developers who want to become RAP developers ultimately. They should first attend a BAP on HANA training. So you can always check out the course content and the next batch mm -hmm. dates for these modules. Mm -hmm that you can always go and check back.